Hey guys, it's me, the dude who talks. So for today, I'm going to be doing like a new music roundup, more specifically with the months of January and February. So this is where I pick out a varied selection of music that I like over the past couple of months, be it from the outright heavy to the, you know, the outright weird. So I hope you enjoy this format. So let's get into it, yeah? So let's kick this video off with um, some black occult metal from Italy. Um, the band are called Mortuary Drape, who recently signed with the legendary label Peaceville to bring out their new mini album called Wisdom Vibration Repent, which is out now. Now, at first glance, I thought these guys were new and upcoming, but no, they've been around since 1986, which make them OGs of the scene. Musically, from listening to this um, album, they're definitely on the top of their game. I really like the blend of like the more classic metal with the occult. Um, there's times on this um, EP, mini album, whatever, there's a little bit of doom sprinkled in there as well. And if that wasn't enough, there's also a cover of Nightmare Be Thy Name by Merciful Fate on this release. So I'm just going to play you a little bit of a song on this mini album called All In One Night. So now we have an upcoming split from Traps and Sander Cohen called Bro Splits, which is going to be out on the 24th of February through the excellent Half Melted Brain Records. So you're probably aware of Traps, the noise rock duo from Kent, as has probably spoken about them a fair bit on this channel, as well as Sander Cohen. So Traps' contribution on Bro Splits is very raw, drenched in feedback, and as usual, full of riffs. Also, Sander Cohen's contrib contribution on this EP is excellent as well. I've been a fan of theirs since their Channeling Hank EP, and this is no different. I love their take on Nosy po Post Hardcore. It's still as endearing as ever. So I'm going to play a little bit of um, a song which features both of them, both the acts, um, a boss keyload to the face. Yeah. <laughs> So next up we've got a band called Chapel Floods who are a four piece from Rotherham which is the South Yorkshire side. They've brought out their first demo EP last month and yeah so they describe the sound as like alternative metal um, being influenced like from bands in the 90s and like genres like stoner, grunge and thrash. From listening to this EP, I can definitely hear those influences, especially on the grunge side of things. And if I was to pinpoint their sound to a couple of bands, I would say like the Melvins or Alice in Chains. Well, the EP is a bit rough around the edges in the sound department. It is a demo after all. I definitely see a lot of potential here. So I'm just going to get it into it with them and play a little bit of the song Crooked Noose. So next up I'm going to talk about a band that I recently caught live and I thought they were absolutely insane. Um, I'm talking about London blackened thrash act in human nature um, who recently played with Underdark at the Alma, which is my old stomping ground in Bolton. A couple of the highlights of the show was that the guitarist literally flew into the pit like a winged beast, and they did a cover of Breaking the Law, which was absolutely incredible. So on the back of that, I had to buy their EP on cassette, and as you can probably tell, I've got their t-shirt. <laughs> so yeah, and um, listening to the EP, it's absolutely fucking savage. And while there's only three songs on it, it's all it needs, really. So without further ado, I'm just going to play a song off the EP, well, a little bit, called Under the Boot. So enjoy. <laughs> And a one, and a two, and a three, four, let's go. 
So for the last entry, I've saved the most surprising sounding and possibly the most challenging for me, at least, for last. Now, this isn't a new album as such, it's a reissue. Um, I'm talking about Gavin Harrison's reissue of Sanity and Gravity for its 25th year anniversary. So if you don't know who Gavin Harrison is, to be honest, I didn't know until this. He's a member of legendary prog bands like um, The Pineapple Thief, Porcupine Tree and uh, King Crimson. And he's a well-known um, solo artist. So, yeah, his sound is a bit like um, a mixture of jazz and prog. And Sanity and Gravity, for me, it felt like if Mr. Bungle had more of a prog slant to it or you know if Mike Patton decided one day he wanted to do a prog side project I think it sounded a little bit like this upon first listen I was unsure whether I liked it but I found it in a way that it challenged challenged me in a way that certain bands don't normally do for me and that encouraged me to keep listening to it so I'm going to play a little bit of the first song on the album to see what you all think about it, which is called AIM. was me with the um, new music roundup of January and February. I might actually bring that back in the next couple of months if people are interested enough in it. Also, if you want me to do any full reviews of the releases that I've talked about today, please let me know down below in the comments section. And like always, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. It really helps out. Also, just want to quickly plug my socials. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. I'll be including links to them should you wish to give them a follow and a like. I'm also on Buy Me A Coffee. If you're feeling generous to donate some money to me, that'd be greatly appreciated. I'm not asking for much. It's all in the name of making these videos look much better. So that is it from me. I've been the Dude Who Talks. You guys, as always, are fucking awesome. And yeah. See you soon.